Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. Given the plasmodium is 80% AT rich, what would be the average length of the fragments of the DNA digested with endonuclease BAMH1 with following recognition site sequence? And here is the variants of the answers. So how we are going to solve this problem? Take a look. We are told that genome of this plasmodium is 80% AT rich. And according to the Charkov's rule, adenine by spur with thymine and cytosine by spur with guanine. If we told that these two bases make 80%, that means that adenine makes 40% and thymine, which by spur with adenine, also makes 40%. And together they make 80%. If these two bases make 80%, that means that cytosine and guanine makes another 20%. 10% cytosine and 10% guanine. So now we have 100% if we add all these numbers. Now take a look at this sequence of the recognition site. And let's say that each empty box would represent one position in this recognition site. We have six nucleotides, so empty box stands for the one nucleotide, so second for the second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position, and the sixth position in the recognition site of this endonuclease. And according to our sequence, and probability that we are given, the probability to find in the first place guanine would be 10%. So probability to find guanine in the first place is 0 0.1, which is 10% according to our table. And probability that in the second place we are going to find guanine also going to be 10%. And probability that in the third position we are going to find adenine is going to be 40% or 0 0.4 and next thymine is also going to be 0 0.4 and then cytosine 0 0.1 and the last position cytosine is also probability is going to be 10% or 0 0.1 because we have here independent probabilities we have to multiply them and this is how we are going to find probability to find such sequence in the random spot if we just take six nucleotides. This is going to be a probability which equals to 0 0.000016. I'm using a product rule here because we also can say what is the probability that in the first position we are going to find guanine in the second position, we are going to find again guanine. When we connect two probabilities with the word and, that means that we have to use a rule which is product rule. And if we connect probabilities with the word or, then we have to use a sum rule. So we have to add probabilities. But again, today we can rephrase our question. What is the probability that in the first position going to be guanine? second guanine and third position adenine and fourth position thymine. So we use a product rule. But this is not going to be our answer. We just find the probability that if we'll take just random six positions in this double-stranded DNA, this is going to be exactly this sequence. And our question is about the average length of the fragments which this endonuclease would cut double-stranded DNA whenever would find such sequence. And by the way, some of you also might think that we have to multiply this number by two because uh, we have double-stranded DNA. So this sequence may happen on one strand and also on the other strand. But actually, take a look, we have here what we call a polyndromic sequence, which is going to be read the same on the second strand to the DNA. So imagine that here we have 
one strand of the DNA which goes from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and on the other strand of the DNA which would go in the different direction so we will have 5 prime end and 3 prime end here we are going to have the sequence which is going to be the same take a look cytosine base pairs with guanine so guanine here adenine thymine and cytosine cytosine here so from 5 prime end the sequence is going to be g g a t and c c and 3 prime end and on the top strand to the dna sequence is the same from 5 prime end g g a t c c 3 prime end so whenever this endonuclease would find this sequence on one strand of the DNA. This is going to be the same sequence on the other strand of the DNA. And let's say that this endonuclease would cut between guanine and adenine. And this also going to be cut on the other strand of the DNA. So this is going to be the same recognition sequence on the both strands of the DNA. So we don't have to multiply our answer by two. But again, let's return to our calculations. In order to give a final answer, we have to find a reciprocal of this number. So we have to divide one by 0 0.000016. And this is going to be 62,000 500 or we can say 62.5 kilo base k stands here for the 1000 so according to our variance of the answers this is going to be answer e this endonuclease with this recognition sequence is going to cut double stranded dna every 62000 500 bases or every 62.5 kilobases. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.